Hi, I'm Dr. Mustafa Yakut. I'm going to present summary of our original article titled Effect of Copper Endomethylene on a Rat Model of Osteoarthritis, published in the journal Drug Design, Development, and Therapy. Copper is a transition metal that can get biologically converted between different redox states, oxidized copper 2 and reduced copper 1. This has made copper an important catalytic cofactor for a variety of metabolic reactions in biological systems. Among its many important metabolic functions, copper acts within the cytosol to supply the copper zinc superoxide dismutase, within the mitochondria to supply the copper proteins, the copper sites of the cytochrome oxidase, and the mitochondrial copper zinc superoxide dismutase enzyme within the Trans-Golgi network to supply secreted coproproteins. The copper zinc superoxide dismutase enzyme acts as a scavenger of toxic superoxide radicals through a two-step reaction, reduction and then reoxidation. The reduction of the copper 2 into copper 1 by gaining an electron from the, uh, the extra electron from the superoxide anion radical. Then the reoxidation again to copper 2 by giving this electron to a molecule of the uh, another molecule of the superoxide anion radical, thus ending up with one molecule of normal oxygen and another molecule of hydrogen peroxide. Many investigators have reported that copper complexes of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are more active than their parent drugs. To explain, to explain this observation, they put the assumption that copper complex in a low dose can provide a superoxide dismutase-like action that could readily cross the cell membranes to inactivate the highly reactive oxygen radicals. Also, copper ions can be directly transferred from the complex into the copper binding sites of the copper zinc superoxide dismutase enzyme to activate it. Thus, it can indirectly repress the activation of inflammatory transcription factors and inflammatory cytokines. We planned this study to investigate the effect of topical application of a copper endomethazine gel preparation on monosodium iodoacetate induced arthritis of the knee joint of rats, and to test our hypothesis that copper complex of endomethazine can be a more potent anti-inflammatory agent than its parent compound. The methods after induction of osteoarthritis by the intracapsular injection of the monosodium iodoacetate dose, we compared the anti-inflammatory efficacy and the safety of a topical daily application of three weeks of 1% endomethazine gel in a dose of one gram per kilogram of the gel, 1% of cover endomethazine gel in a dose of one gram per kilogram, and another group treated by 1% of cover endomethazine gel in half the dose half gram per kilogram, and the fourth group treated by 1% cover endomethazine gel in a quarter of the dose, 25% of the dose of endomethazine, 0.25 gram per kilogram. The post hoc Toki test analysis for the intergroup comparison of the serum levels of the interleukin 8. After the duration of three weeks treatment, we can see here that the group treated with the lowest dose of copper endomethylene, 0.25 gram per kilogram, are showing the greatest decrease in the level of this cytokine, while also the group treated with half gram per kilogram was significantly lower than the group treated with the endomethylene 
and the highest dose of the cover endomethylene gel. Of course, the untreated group is showing the uh, highest level of the interleukin-8. And this table shows the <clears throat> same uh, effect on the uh, level of interleukin-6. The group treated with the lowest dose of the cover endomethacin is also showing a trend towards being the uh, with the highest reduction in the serum of the interleukin-6. And the group treated with uh, half gram per kilogram uh, uh, and the other treatment arms are showing significantly higher reduction than the group, the untreated group. This table shows the levels of the tumor necrosis factor alpha, and we can see here that there is a statistically significant difference between the uh, three treatment groups, the cover endomethacin treated groups, then the groups, the untreated group, and the endomethacin group. This table showed the percent edema level at week two, and we can see here that the percent edema in the induced orthoarthritis not treated group is markedly higher than all the other treated groups. Also, we can see here that there is a trend for the lowest dose of cover endomethacin to be uh, the uh, lowest in the percent edema among the treated groups. Uh, this table shows the multi-comparisons of the rotation time on the rotarod apparatus in seconds at week three. And we can see here that the untreated group is showing the lowest time in seconds among all the groups, while the group treated with the lowest dose of cover endomethylin gel showed significantly higher duration of rotation on the rotorod apparatus in seconds at week three. This can indicate in our model of arthritis improvements in the joint mobility, motor function, and the less ambulatory evoked pain, that is to say better analgesia in that treated group. Discussion, the lowest dose of cover endomethylene, the quarter gram per kilogram, was shown to be associated with the marked significant decrease of the levels of studied interleukins, interleukin-6 and interleukin-8, than the higher dose of the parent molecule endomethylene. We can propose that the cover endomethylene complex can indirectly, through the previously described superoxide dismutase mimicking and activation mechanisms can induce the can reduce the activation of inflammatory transcription factors like the NF kappa B, thereby preventing upregulation of inflammatory cytokine production, which are implicated in the mechanism of many inflammatory conditions like the osteoarthritis. This mechanism may become less efficient at higher doses of cover as increased levels of free cover ions beyond the antioxidant capacity can exert a pro-oxidant action via a fenton-like mechanism. In conclusion, cover endomethylene gel has a potent anti-inflammatory activity against joint inflammation in the monosodium iodoacetate induced rat model of osteoarthritis at doses of quarter, half, and one gram per kilogram. The lowest dose was better, both in safety and efficacy parameters. Thank you very much.